one strike away one out away three two Here it is. the Washington Nationals are world champions for the first time in franchise history to borrow a quote from the great Vin Scully a season that began with the improbable 19 wins and 31 losses after 50, 15, 50 games has ended with the impossible, a world championship in Washington, D.C. for the first time since 1924. 95 years in the making, the Washington Nationals do the impossible, really. It's never been done before, where a World Series has been won entirely on the road. And the Nationals are champions of the baseball world. And um, from my perspective, as uh, a broadcaster and as somebody who's been around this town for a long time, D.C. native, I can't imagine a more satisfying end to the 2019 season. And, um, you know, I, 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 there's so many things going through my mind right now, and and the, the emotions of the evening and the way it, it impacted me physically. I mentioned this the other day. I'm, I'm glad I had heart surgery a year ago and not now. Uh, it might have been a problem today, but uh, here we are now on Halloween morning, 2019, and we're staring at a, a World Series championship. And I, I don't know about you, I've been around this town a long time, and I've been around for Super Bowl victories, Stanley Cup, uh, NBA championships, DC United's won some championships, but really nothing compares to this. Uh, you look at the stars of this series, and certainly uh, Steven Strasburg, most deserving of the World Series MVP award. Uh, Juan Soto had a remarkable postseason. Anthony Rendon uh, got the got him off the schneid today with with a home run. But as you've seen with this club over the past couple of months, anyway, not just this week, if they fall behind early by two, don't worry about it. Don't give it a thought because they have seemed to have a way to, to magically pull out these these late inning fireworks. And they did it today in the seventh inning. Zach Greinke, who was pitching one of the great games of his life, in, in his mind, I'm quite sure, gets a ground ball out by Adam Eaton in the seventh inning. And then Anthony Rendon comes up and goes deep. Home run. Makes it to score two to one. The second hit he had allowed. He walks the next guy, Soto, and they make a pitching change. They bring in Will Harris. The first hitter he faces is Howie Kendrick. Remember Howie Kendrick in Los Angeles with the Grand Slam home run in the division series? Well, it wasn't a Grand Slam, but he hit it. The, he went the other way, hit the right field foul pole with a runner on, on base and a, for a two-run homer. And that's all they needed. That put them ahead three to two. They win the ball game six to two. Six runs, nine hits, no errors for Washington. Two nine and one for Houston. But before we leave you, I want to thank everybody who texted me tonight uh, or emailed me. I've heard from so many uh, friends, uh, relatives I didn't know I had. Uh, I've heard from many of my uh, teaching colleagues at Austin P down in Clarksville, Tennessee. Um, to both my daughters, uh, Carrie and Becky, who uh, have followed the Nats since they arrived on the planet. And I, uh, you know, again, I want to thank Jack Hicks, who I love like a brother, and Vic Ferreira, who I love like, a, like that nephew I never knew I had, but has pulled my uh, stuff out of the fire more than once on this show over the last several years. Um, to my wife, Diane, to my, uh, to my dad, Charlie, who I'm sure is watching from somewhere. But uh, it's been a, f a fabulous year, and uh, I again, I, 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 can't, I can't think everybody I should, but, uh, you know, I I whether or not I'm back next season remains to be seen, but m maybe not. Maybe this is the time to, to walk away. I'm not sure. But uh, nonetheless, just to repeat, for the Nationals, six runs, nine hits, no errors. For Houston, two runs, nine hits, and one error. Winning pitcher, Patrick Corbin. Losing pitcher, Will Harris. The Nationals are the 2019 World Champions of Baseball. Until whenever next time happens to be, maybe it'll be Saturday morning on Masson. But uh, I'm Phil Wood. Thanks for everything, and Eddie Yost. One eternity later. Does this come from Jostens? Yes. Got a card?
Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Just crazy. <laughs> uh, is, is, is this where you thought you would be two years ago? Standing upright, breathing. <laughs> Wasn't sure two years ago today, but uh, oh no, I, who would have who thought this was going to happen? When, when you when you opened up the box, um, it was one of those out of body experiences. Oh, uh, it's it's once again not really um, not really getting that it, it's for me and that's actually my name on there. It's been very long uh, so time yeah, time it's it's when you don't expect this in your lifetime. It's time uh, it certainly beats getting a gold watch or uh, you know uh, you know winning a uh, you know a gift card or something. This is. This is pretty, pretty, uh, uh, well, it, it, it kind of trumps everything else. Well, Excuse the expression. Well, <laughs> uh, what, what are you going to do with it? Um, Wear it every day? No. No, it'll, <laughs> it'll probably stay in its box for, for most of the time. Yeah, I'll, there are certain people uh, on campus I promised I would show it to, so it'll, it'll take at least one trip to Foxville. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things that you... It, it's um, how many occasions would you have to wear it? It's just it's it, it's weighty to start with, but uh, it's one of those things that uh, is a um, you know it, 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 so many players never get one. And I didn't even play, <laughs> um, but uh, I, I'm happy that the uh, the learners uh, saw fit to uh, make sure that I I received one. Well, congrats, Dad. Thanks, Karen. <laughs> Boom. Oh. 